All right guys, so I wanna do a video featuring the newest member of my family, Shadow. So Shadow is an English Staffy, and uh, he's six months old now. Got him when he was eight weeks. And I get so many questions about, you know, especially when I go to the dog park, you know, what kind of dog is that? And when I tell them it's an English Staffy, they go, oh, that's just a fancy name for a pit bull. But it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, definitely structurally, they're a lot smaller. And I'll tell you why I got an English Staffy. So basically, um, growing up, I grew up with Labs and Retrievers and Beagles, and they were great dogs, they were awesome, um, but I never had the relationship I had with those dogs as I did with my ex's pit bull. So I always thought people got pit bulls because they, you know, they just look like a masculine dog, they looked awesome, muscular, but truth is the personality of pit bulls are so amazing. Super affectionate dogs, and all they want to do is please their owner. So, um, I had a blast with Ava, that was the uh, dog's name, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun together. So when it came time for me to pick out a dog breed, I was like, I want a pit bull. But the problem was, I lived in a small apartment, and I didn't want a 70, 80, you know, 90 plus pound dog in my small apartment. I didn't think that would be fair to the dog, and uh, you know, I decided, to get an English Staffy. So I came across them, you know, just searching different pit bull breeds, and they're like a pit bull, you know, they have the characteristics, the personality, but they're 35 to 40 pounds. The males are 35 to 40 pounds. The females are a little bit smaller. So, yeah guys, that was my decision to get one. So, when I first found the breed, I was like, English Staffy, perfect. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to the shelter, I'm gonna go you know, to a pound and rescue one of these English Staffy puppies, it's gonna be easy. But uh, to my surprise, I go to the pound, I go to shelters all across Arizona and they have no English Staffy puppies. So they're not super popular here in the States, they're super popular in Europe and Australia. I was like, okay, maybe I'll get an adult Staffy. I found one in the whole entire state that I could rescue uh, you know that feeling that people get when they're like, oh, you know, it's you'll know when you find the right dog and all this stuff, you know, people were explaining to me and I, we never had that connection, me and this this like two or three year old Staffy. The dog wanted nothing to do with me, so I went home and I was like, all right, I'm gonna look for a breeder. So I was looking for breeders and I finally came across one in Louisiana that I thought, you know, um, had awesome parents, parents are both champion AKC, you know, if I was gonna spend money, I might as well get championship dogs. And uh, so his dad was black, his mom was Brindle, just great looking dogs, so decided to go with them. So I had to get a driver to drive them because I didn't wanna fly him from Louisiana to uh, Scottsdale. And that was the story about why I decided to go with an English Staffy. I wanted a pit bull, I wanted all the personality traits of a pit bull. Um, the look of a pit bull, they, you know, they look amazing, but I didn't want a huge, massive dog in my small apartment. So that's why I went with uh, Shadow here, and he's just a great dog. We've had such a blast together, so um, yeah, I just wanted to feature him in a video. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, hopefully you'll be seeing Shadow in a lot more videos. Um, and if you're thinking about getting a pit bull type of dog, um, they're great dogs. Just know that you're gonna you're gonna want to have adequate time to train them. You definitely do not want to neglect a bully breed or a pit bull dog because you know not only could things go wrong if you just neglected your dog, you didn't spend any time with your dog, and they didn't know how to be out in uh, public. But um, they have such a bad name, you know, pit bulls and bully breeds. We're all trying, you know, as a as a pit bull owner. Uh, well, he's not a pit bull, but you know, a bully breed owner. We want to kind of destroy that reputation of them being a very aggressive dog. So, Shadow's amazing. I've met so many amazing pit bulls um, that have good owners. So, if you're gonna get a pit bull, make sure you train it right. Make sure you spend a lot of time with them. So, that's all. Uh, hope you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I think Shadow needs a nap. Shadow, you gotta say anything to the camera? Shadow. Buddy, we need an outro. We need an outro. Huh? Good puppy. And guys, this is super funny. One of my favorite parts of the day is feeding Shadow, so just watch.
All right, buddy, get in your cage. Get in your cage. <laughs> He's hopping, hopping to his crate. He just goes in there, sits down, waits patiently. Good job, buddy. All right, there you go. So that's how you get your dogs to fall in love with their crate, is to feed them inside of it. So super easy. And yeah, he loves his crate. I'll just have it open all the time. He'll go in there, take a nap. That's like his little, his little den. Is that right, buddy? Do you like your food? <laughs> 